Hi guys, just eating a biscuit here. And ladies out there. Little while for the game to load up. But basically what I've been doing is loading up, uploading a video to uh, YouTube. Um, as you all know, because you're watching this on YouTube. Mm, some interesting spawns. Eevee, not shiny. Not bad CP. Not a bad Pokemon. Um, Dunspa there. No, not shiny. The other Dunspa, not shiny. And let's have a look at the uh, rat thing, uh, which to me looks like a beaver. And I nickname it Angry Beaver. Disappeared. But as you can see, pretty much the game doesn't look too slow, does it? Um, just going to check my messages, see if there's any, um, raid requests coming up. Um, oh, somebody's just got a hundo. How lovely for them. Uh, Martin Smith. Nice. Right. Um, so no raids at this moment. Let's have a look at the nearby, see if, uh, the glitchiness of the phone which uh, clearly it's got to be glitching, um, which doesn't seem to be for some reason. Oh, okay. So if there's no glitches in the game, as I'm doing the tricks, uh, one finger, double tap, bring up. Yeah, no. Um, functions all seem to be working fine. So um, let's go into Go Battle League. Um, I will be uploading a couple of raids today. Um, and the reason why I'm going to upload raids today, this is not my normal team. This is not a team that I'd like to overly play with. But I'm just proving a point. These um, aren't um, the fastest Pokemon in the world. Uh, Snarl is pretty quick on Obstagoon. Uh, but it should be four to five uh, attacks before a charge move is let off. Meltan, as we know, is anything around three to four moves. And Raichu is five moves. However, I in the previous videos, you'll see that I'm encountering Pokemon that are hitting me once and their charge move is enacting. Um, and uh, Niantic keeps on telling me that I've got a weak signal. Uh, sadly, I can't show you that on my screen, um, but as you can see up the top there, my battery life is good. Um, <coughs> bless me, uh, for I have not sinned. Not a Catholic, but, you know, can't be too careful. Right, so we've got a lovely looking lady with a GoFest top on. You can hear my tapping. This is me tapping the screen. So we're up against the shiny. Grass against steel. Um, steel is weak. You can see that I'm actually hitting the screen. I'm going to try to swap. Not allowed to swap. Going to try to swap again. Not allowed to swap. And my charge move is that's three attempts of trying to swap. And my charge move wasn't allowed to be enacted. So as you can see, there is a kind of a bit of a problem here. Now, the game has chosen a Pokemon and just shown you there a weak signal. Funny thing is that I'm kind of continuing to tap. 
So I want to swap again. I want to swap again. Oh, I've actually managed to get a swap in. Right. But my Pokemon is receiving power, but it's not attacking. I have to shield here. This is very odd, isn't it? On a 25 to 28 megabits per second uh, download speed. Now, Niantic turns around and tells me it depends on both parties' speeds. So then why am I being punished? Because as you can clearly see, my charge move is being absolutely smashed. And the gameplay doesn't seem to be pretty poor. Because my um, scroller's moving around. So straight on the charge move, but um, I'm dead. Oh, interesting. Um, we know Raichu's coming out, but my Raichu's been hit a number of times and my charge move is um, not active. Okay, I can accept that, um, but Raichu's dead. And a Shadow Vine Whip. Unusual one. Um, as you can see with the screen here, um, it is not showing that I've won, not showing that I've lost, when we all know that I lost against a Pokemon that should have been destroyed by the Pokemon that I had in front of it. Um, but hey, there we go. Um, so we look at... Um, what can I do with this? I'm touching the screen, nothing happens. So if this ever happens to you guys... This is generally because Niantic's detected a cheat. Um, this is what they've turned around and told me in the uh, support area. But they're very uh, watchful about it and won't um, state that it's a cheat. They say it's a possible uh, violation of their protocols. So I hit the back button at the bottom of the screen and it takes me back. As you see, not a problem. Um, so you don't have to reset the app um, as I had to in the past. But um, did you notice a slight problem there? So um, we go back in for another battle. But before we do that, we want to have a little check, right? Um, that's um, my um, obscure there with gunshot. Um and uh, as you can see, he's sitting there at 1498. So we're going to swap him for a lesser um, Obstagoon. Um, because obviously we're having problems um, with his speed. So clearly this other one's going to be, um, you know, what you call it. Uh, we've got a Raichu there, which is renowned for not being very fast. Um, so, um, what shall we do? I know, let's put in the fastest electric type attacker. Because the whole point of this isn't about speed. It's about proving that Niantic are not only allowing cheating, that they're... Fear it, uh, basically making it a part of the game and punishing only those who play the game properly. Now, I could bring this in, which I know is a very fast attacker. I could bring this in because we know it's a very fast attacker. Um, but I've got an even better fast attacker because... Its move is buffed by 20%, and it is a three hit, and I know it's a free hit, because I use this Pokemon all the time. It is a 15 attack, and a 15 defense, and a five, uh, no, six HP. My Jolteon there is a 96, um, and my Azumarill... Uh, my Obstagoon, sorry, there is a 96 again. Yeah, 96 again. So I've got a 96 and a 96 and a quite lesser, but it's a Shadow. So 
So it is weak against attacks, but it is very, very quick. Mm. Now, normally what I would do, if I have my uh, Shadow Pokemon in, I would come into the fight. You can hear me tapping on the screen. Um, I'd come into the fight, and I would take down their shields, and then I'd bring in my um, other Pokemon. Now, we've got a good counter here, because still against still, I'm hitting, and you can see weak signal already. Um, but that can't be right. My Pokemon's even slower than it was before. How is that possible? But I've got a weak signal with 25 to 28 megabits. Oh, there we go. Weak signal again. And wow, this is good. Um, how many charge moves can this Pokemon get against mine? Wow, it's got two charge moves to my one so far. I will have to shield, but for the process of this video, I'm not going to. Because we know that Obstagoon uh, should have taken out this Pokemon. So we're going to go with the, my fastest uh, Pokemon that I use all the time. That's one. That's two. That's three. Charge move enacted. But it took four. Now that's five. And... Only after five was I allowed to fire off my charge move. And it actually took four actual hits before the charge move went off. And there's two, there's three. But I had to hit it a further three times. How does that work? So now he's hit, I've attacked him six times. And only now my charge move is able to be activated. So that's now nine times for a free move charge move. And Niantic aren't saying that there's a problem with the game. I got one, that's two, and he's dead. So now my next Pokemon comes out, Jolteon, weak signal apparently. I still have a shield. We've done one. I only need to get two more attacks in before my next charge move. I'm not coming in this game to win. I'm coming in to use my attack move. That's number two. And that's number three. Charge moves up. That's number four, but I wasn't allowed to use my charge move. As you can see, the cursor is not having a problem moving around. The game is not having a problem moving around. But it seems to be a problem. I keep even getting told weak signal. Charge moves being enacted again, but I die. So. I lost that battle. And this shows that Niantic says there's no cheat in that game. So this is Niantic then. You tell me, guys. How you're supposed to play a game. And I know lots of you out there put money into this game. How you're supposed to play a game fairly. If those people who do not cheat. Are targeted. And bullied not only by Niantic but by the cheaters. And this is how they treat. Now I can go to my um, support and show you the messages. Which I think we should do because there are some odd things that um you're probably not aware of i'm severely dyslexic so you hit the support if you've got a complaint to make to them um this message bar up here generally you need to go through the system to get it but you can read what uh they've got there uh just pause the screen i'm going to scroll up I use a narrator just so you're aware. If you want to read anything that's in this, then please do so. Because I am quite uh, prolific in what I'm actually trying to state and how I feel about this game. As you can see, it's uh, not exactly loading there. And as you can see, I've been loading up videos to them. Um, 
And I know this is a rather long text and I'm asking you to read it backwards. So let's go to the top. Yep, you can see it is actually a book. Right. Da, 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 da. We're going down the screen. We're going down the screen. If you want to read this, obviously, please do so. I have nothing to hide. As I stated, it is a narrator. And just pause the screen to keep up with it. I will be flicking forward in a second. And then we have this one, which we will do the same. I do kind of get distracted quite a lot. So I go into other areas which are kind of annoying. But I do try keeping to the point-ish. Um, here's obviously me showing about the issues I was having. Um, you can't really see the picture for justice-wise. And the app is uh, resetting. Oh, I'm still recording. This is completely Niantic uh, resetting the game, which is a bit odd. Uh, I've never had that happen before, have you? Interesting, as you can see, the game's loaded up quickly. I've experienced it where um, it can take quite a long time. Um... And we are on. We have got some interesting Pokemon here. Not a shiny. A few messages have come up. We will catch this and we'll get back to where we were in just a second, guys. I had to catch this. I am obsessed about getting a hundo of this one. I would like a few of them, but, you know, because um, I really rate it. Um, let's have a little look around. I'm doing a bit of drift in here. I'm sitting in my house just so you're <coughs> clear. Um, anyway, the little grey circle up there is my gotcha. I've explained this before. So let's get back to the settings to where I was and see if we get booted out again. Right. Um, so if you want to raise a complaint, you go here. You have these many different title things here. But we're not interested in that. We want to get back to where we was. Right, as I was trying to pick up this picture, but I'll show you from my library a bit later. Um, trying to clearly show here what the issue was is basically the gym that you can see pictured there, I had gone into and tried to invite some people, was able to invite people, um, but then what it shows here is that I need to go closer to it, except I'm within what's the amenable distance. The two pictures here clearly define the two differences in space. I'm clearly a lot closer to the article, you know, the gym, the raid, whatever. Um, but I wasn't un unable to get in on a normal ticket, even though I'd just been in um so this is the um issue that i'm raising once again like i said you'll have to pause to read these um but as you can see i'm quite explicit in how i'm trying to explain things this is niantic's response obviously to this issue here which uh this is where i was having another glitch problem Sometimes Niantic is quite kind and good. Um, sometimes it is not. Um, here is another glitch. Um, because obviously when you're spending raid passes, you need to be able to do it. This is me notifying Niantic how um, these uh, fights are not working. 
Um, this was, uh, you know, basically all the same thing that I'm raising in here. As you can see, I've got a similar thing here. Um, another one here. Another Go Battle League thing here, which actually looks to be the same one. Um, but I assure you that it's not. Um, but anyway, uh, so we'll just go through this one again and do it backwards. Right, so there we go. <coughs> if you want to read it, like I said, pause it. Right, so we're here again. And here we go again. And as you can see, there's a little bit of text here. And then some more pictures, some more stuff from Niantic. More issues that I've raised. And we're right up to uh, beginning and pictures that aren't coming up, but kind of showing you how the plight that I've been facing hasn't actually just been a short period of time. Oh, yes, this was a brilliant one. Um, an obstagoon with flash cannon that hits after three strikes. Now, you will know long charge moves take 10 attacks. And it's as simple as that. You have to hit the opponent 10 times before the charge move is inactivated. If they hit you with a charge move, it drops down to eight. Um, but that is it. More um, showing how the player, you know, is stagnant and needed a way of working. This is me talking about nominations. Right, what am I giving you a lift to? Not. So thank you and good night for watching.